Some of you are seniors, um, and you all will only be here for a number of years, and then you're going off into the world, and you're all going to get to decide what you do with your time, what you do with your days, and what you get to do with your life. So there's things that you get to say yes to. Uh, My name is Gabriela Alvarez. Okay, so you talked to the students yesterday about, you know, finding your yes. So just kind of go through that process for me, uh, what it was like for you when you found your yes. Yeah, I... Uh, thought I knew my yes was healing and being a, a force in the world of healing um, in particular people in my family people um, communities of color and I wasn't really sure how to do that and it was sort of a total accident I never thought I would be a chef but it just came into my mind the vision the possibility came into my mind and it felt really aligned with what I was passionate about and I really went for it and now I get to go around around the Northeast, around the country to Puerto Rico and just be cooking with people, talking about food justice, be with folks who are growing food, get young people to try new foods and really connect to the ancestry and like what foods are healthy in their own um, cultures, cuisines, and it's awesome. You made your own lane. So what was like the scariest part? Like what was the scariest part of that? Scariest part of making my own lane? Well, two very scary things and they're connected one is like is this gonna work are people gonna like this are people gonna receive this well and another piece is am i gonna be able to live off of it am i gonna be able to pay my rent and little by little and with lots of support from family and from friends like a ton of support it's really been a community effort i've learned that it is possible people are actually really hungry for work like this and um I'm actually being fed, like financially supported by my community, right? Who are all like, yes, we want this and we're gonna support you. We're gonna bring resource to you. And then I recycle that resource back to them. I know you can make a lot of different things, but what's your favorite thing to cook? Like if you had like just one thing you could cook for the rest of your life. What? What would that one thing be? I mean, it would have to be plantains because I couldn't survive without plantains. So anything plantain, like honestly, just sweet plantains fried is my favorite. This is probably a difficult question, but what's the best part for you? Like, what's the most fulfilling part of, of your work? Hmm. A really fulfilling part is when the meal is ready, everything is going, and everyone gets to like sit and land with the meal. And just like the magic when everyone is together, like the fact that food really brings people together and makes people feel like they matter and they're taken care of. Um, is really beautiful and when that's young people, when that's people of color, when it's LGBTQ community, um, when it's just folks who are like just needing that special care, um, it's really special. I know I asked you this before, but if you weren't a chef, what would uh, you be doing? I literally have no idea. I never thought I would be a chef and now I'm like, what would I be doing? I felt really lost before. Hmm, well, little secret, I guess. Who knows if this would ever have become a possibility. But when I was little, I always wanted to be an actress. So maybe if I hadn't done a chef, I would have figured out a way to make that dream come true and really hustled in that industry. Um, but that is not the case. What's your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie? I don't really have a favorite movie, but my favorite book of all time, this is a little embarrassing, is Harry Potter. Great series. <laughs> Cool. And then just talk to me a little bit about Common Ground and just your experience here and why you think what's happening at the school is, is important and really matters. Yeah. Common Ground has really beautiful community, really beautiful space. The fact that there's a farm on campus, animals on campus. We made flan today with three different bird eggs. Like the fact that we could do that is, is really special. Um, and what really really inspired me is like how committed the staff and the students are to making this a really safe and like revolutionary space like we're gonna work together to make everyone feel comfortable and safe and include people and it's hard work because it's hard for the world to figure out how we can all live together and make sure that everyone succeeds and it really seems like common ground is um, taking those steps and really doing the work to figure out how we make it happen and how we keep growing in that way and where do you see yourself, lastly, where do you see yourself in your business in, say, like, five years? Five years? I hope that in five years, um, Liberation can be a collective of lots of different folks and really being 
um, driven by those different minds and the interests of those different people. Um, I hope that I can really be inspiring other folks and in particular younger people, younger people of color, younger queer folks, younger women to really not only get into cooking, uh, but also into cooking for social justice um, and just creating like more, just creating some noise around that. I would love to really be part of that, 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 um, that movement. Sounds good, thank you.